Hello, my beautiful, beautiful Narc Free family. My name is Cree. Thank you for joining me here today. So I just wanted to give y'all a quick, supportive, encouraging <laughs> message. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day today. Uh, so once you've gone through a relationship with a narcissist and the relationship is over and maybe you are feeling defeated because you are thinking about how much time you wasted, how much energy <laughs> you put out for them. Some of y'all, it's um, financial. You're thinking about how you may have helped them with a business, how, um, you know, financially you may have extended them, you know, credit or you may have given them money to help them with something and you're, you're, putting together that all of this that you put out that you were basically conned out of this time this energy this sex this you were conned out of all of this um and the thinking that this was a real relationship only to find out that it was not and you can get in the way of starting to think that you are a victim of the abuse but I want you to look at it just a little bit differently now you can be a victim of the abuse it's your choice this part the narcissist has nothing to do with this right here this deciding factor whether you are going to be the victim of the abuse or whether you're going to be the victor of the abuse okay because you can come out of this real victorious um, they can push you to new levels because once you get out of it you go and you start seeking help you start looking at videos trying to see what in the what happened here you don't even know what happened you're so confused uh, you didn't know that this existed you know you're 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 trying to figure out what what just happened here how does how does this happen? How does this person you were with go from this to being like this? And, you know, why do you feel stuck in all of that? Okay. But you go and you get the research. Okay. You see what it is. And now you decide, I'm going to stay stuck, which is what the narcissist wants. Because if you stay stuck, they get to come back and hoover you later on. So they're hoping that you will stay stuck or you move on you go onwards and upwards you get your healing and then guess what you're not stuck you learned from the mistake of being with them you learned what red flags were you learned about gaslighting you learned about triangulation um, you learned about all of these things and now when you're in another relationship later down the road and you meet someone and they're trying to switch everything up on you, you know exactly what they're doing. <laughs> you know exactly what they're doing. And you don't need to be hyper vigilant with people. Just pay attention to what they're doing. Um, if you're concerned that someone's gaslighting you, see if it happens once. I say by the fourth time I say something the first three times I don't usually say anything but pay attention because we become hyper vigilant because we're feeling like maybe everybody's like this and so we're honing in trying to figure out is someone else doing this to me just relax but do pay attention to what is happening around you okay and so by the fourth time uh, the reason why I have that number there is they've already done it three times. I'm no longer questioning if I'm imagining this or is this really happening? Are there more people out here that do this that tell you one thing and it's totally the opposite? You know then. It's not you overthinking. It's none of that. You are being gaslit. And that fourth time... Um, you know, usually I will say something. Sometimes I won't. I'll just let it go. And there's a lot of disappointment that comes with finding out that there are, this is more common than you thought it was. I feel like it's really disappointing when you meet people and you're like, dang, <laughs> you're gaslighting. And this is how you get through life, like by manipulating people. But 
it's neither here nor there. The topic of this video is about be victorious. So if we keep our thoughts on the things that are working out good, like the mere fact that you're no longer in a relationship with a narcissist, if you're out of that relationship, those of you who are still in a relationship with a narcissist and you're wanting to get out, the mere fact that you know and you have a choice should make you feel victorious. Because if you don't know what you're dealing with, you're just totally getting conned. If you know what you're dealing with, because I know some people who are with narcissists, they've done the research, they know that this person has this disorder, but they choose to stay with them, then you're doing it by choice. But when you don't know, you're being conned, okay? So it's up to you, but now at least you can choose to be victorious. Hey, I choose to be with this person even though I know that they have this disorder, okay? Um, then it's, it's a choice, all right? People who feel victimized by a narcissist don't feel like they had a choice, all right? So your victory is on the other side. It's on all the decisions you make after, afterwards, after you've been discarded or after you've had to get out of the relationship because of the way that they were treating you, because of all the gaslighting, because of the triangulation, because of all of the crazy making and the arguments that they try to cause for no reason at all just because they need a certain level of dysfunction too much peace is hard for them they need to be in that constant state of trauma where there's disagreements and um, that the attention is taken off of good things or fun things or happiness or joy and put on to them and their behavior and uh, that's why they mess up holidays you know birthdays and they mess up vacations and they mess up because the attention and the energy and the focus is off of them and they need to get it back on to them okay so you are in a position when you're no longer in a relationship with them to focus on being victorious and they will still try to get your energy they will still try to be relevant Okay, because if you've been in a relationship with a narcissist, um, you know that they want to remain relevant because they don't want you moving onwards and upwards. All right, glowing up, going up, taking those trips, living that life. If your life, if your your life's desire, or your your desire, I don't know if life's desire is even a thing, but. If you desire in your heart to travel the world, the whole world, okay, they're not going to want you traveling. Um, if you're a happy person, they're not going to want you happy. They want everything that's the opposite of who you are and their goal is to try to make everything be the opposite, okay? But now you have a choice in how much of your energy you will allow them to have. And my recommendation is after that relationship that you starve them of your energy. And this this tip right here, because this is something I'm still having to work on. Those of us that have children with a narcissist, they're always still playing these games and they're using the kids. So it's kind of hard uh, because in order for you to keep everybody in the loop of what's going on of the new game, you find yourself constantly talking about what it is they're doing to you. Okay. And um, they don't usually stop. And when I say don't stop, uh, CPS is on the list of things, level new levels that they will go to. So y'all that have children with them, don't think that they won't make up a false story and call CPS on you because they absolutely will. All right. Um, so your issues, if you have children with them, are going to be a little different than someone who had no children with them and could really just block them. And if you work together, could get a new job or um, or move to a different um, location. I have a client who actually works with someone she's with, doesn't have children with them, and she's working on getting um, a job, the same job, just at a different location, okay? So you, you can move around differently, but when you have children with them, the courts force you to still have some amount of communication with them, and they use that communication to 
remain relevant in your life and so they do a lot of deceptive things and then you end up talking about what they're doing because you still have to have this communication with them oh y'all excuse me i feel like i got a cough and then um so what ends up happening is they end up being relevant because you end up still having to talk you have to tell your friends and things what's going on so that they know what's happening with you okay so what i want to recommend you do is keep that to a minimum if you can and you have privacy in your phone i don't but if y'all got privacy in your phone you could just start a some kind of group text that way you just putting people on notice letting them know what's happened so you've sent one message or you've done a video and explain what's going on and you've sent it to everybody and so you're not constantly going over it again and again i hope that tip is helpful because you guys i'm still on the journey myself so i can coach people and i do coach people but new things arise new issues that i have to find new solutions for and as i am still in the healing journey this is something new that i'm working on is how much am i talking about what the narcissist is still doing because if you want to starve them of your energy you have to take talking about them to an all-time low because even though you may not care about them at all and you still have children with them their whole goal is to make them themselves still relevant in your life your goal is to make them so y'all go and make the decision to be uh instead of a victim a victor by starving that narcissist and the way to starve them is to give them none of your energy and to chase after your dreams okay so here you are going ahead and putting them in their place which is um of no relevance in your life and then on your end for you you're blessing up you're blessing yourself you're you're taking time to care for your mental health you're taking time to care for yourself to love on yourself more to uh, go to new levels to learn how to meditate um, take those vacations doing those things where you're loving on you more buy those flowers for yourself men get that cologne get that new wallet you've been looking at you know take that trip do the things that you need to do that you probably would not have done had you not been in this relationship and now you need this extra love and extra care for yourself okay so y'all go ahead and choose to be victorious it's a choice at this point when the narcissist is not in your life anymore it's a choice whether you stay stuck here or you go over here into victory you are in control of that you might not have known what was going on over here but over here from here on out you have control over your life okay thank y'all for joining me here today um anyone who is needing coaching look down below for my email address and reach out to me there anyone who would like to donate to the channel you'll see something down there that says buy me a coffee um, i appreciate everyone who has donated to the channel and i appreciate everyone in advance who will donate to the channel if you have liked this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank y'all for joining me bye bye my beautiful narc free family i'll see you next time Mwah.